Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. You're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Jorge Hernandez with The Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with David Rickles. Uh, pretty big victory that you had there. How does it feel? Absolutely. No, it actually really feels great to uh, seal the deal over Fisher. Uh, he's actually a great fighter. You know, his only losses are to me. So I'm really happy to say that also. And, uh, you know, I really, uh, that third round, I was so close to finishing. Like, I really wanted to finish the finisher. And, uh, you know, I kind of big brothered him, I feel like. And, uh, you know, I didn't get the finish, but I think I made a statement. Yeah. Now, out of nowhere, Sayyid so comes out to actually defeat Will Brooks. Yes. Uh, how yeah, surprising yeah. is that? Yes. Or, I mean, do you just go with the flow? You, you, you know, uh, there's not a whole lot of surprise to me in this MMA game. Um, because, especially when you have two opposite fighters, okay? Uh, uh, I mean, Brooks is a great fighter, and I believe that he is. But I just he hasn't been hit really hard by like a like a hard hitting striker that finishes fights in one minute, like Assad, and Assad caught him just like that right off the first minute or two, and uh, you know the, it played out how it did, and uh, I think that is an awesome fight for me in the finals. How do you analyze that fight now in the finals? I analyze it like this, man. <laughs> He's gonna figure out he cannot knock out a caveman, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it on him. That's what's gonna happen. So I feel good about it. Any predictions for it then? Uh, second round or third round finish. And you're going all that like second that? Second or third. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First round, man. Yeah. Yeah. It might look like I'm getting hit, yeah. but I'm just playing possum <laughs> until two or three. Yeah. So what happened tonight? How come you could have come up with the finisher? Did you let, it did seem like at the end you did let up just a little bit. I mean, was that the case? Uh, I don't know if I let up, yeah. but like uh, really though, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm always an honest person. Like mm. uh, right off the bat, I felt like I was weighed down. I felt like I was a thousand pounds. I didn't have the greatest weight cut. Um, I had a case of what you call, I call the fuck it's, where I ate a bunch of food that I shouldn't have about three or four days before the the fight, and uh, so it didn't go that well, and uh, you know, like my weight cut was kind of bad, and then like on top of like, I've never fought an elevation before, and I think it all weighed together a little bit, but like a second and third, I started to actually feel better. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, just muscle-wise, you know, uh, I think I got a little bit more air, oxygen to my muscles, and uh, I felt better, and, like, I was really close to finishing a few times, just couldn't do it. Uh, what are your favorite fuck it foods? My favorite fuck it foods are crab rangoons. <laughs> Any meat. Caveman, obviously. Um, chocolates, mm. of course. And most of all, PB2. Mm. Google that shit. PB2, you're like, oh, it's cool. It's like a fucking dietary thing you can just eat. No, it's not. It's peanut butter. I ate a lot of peanut butter, and it made me fat, so that's uh, what happened. Message any of your fans. Huh? Message any of your fans. Message to my fans? <laughs> yeah. Caveman Nation, we about to get it okay. out here, dude. Watch me whoop this fool aside. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Twitter, man? Yeah, 316 Caveman. Uh, the Caveman 316. All right, we better get Let's that right. Let's just make it right, yeah. you know? David so. Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.